deeper dive into Nike's earnings. Let's bring in Adrian Yee, Barclays Consumer Discretionary Analyst. Nice to see you. What do you make of the report and the fact that shares up just a bit? Yeah, so the expectations were extraordinarily high going into this. Um, the company had marketed some right after their last earnings when they had lowered numbers. Uh, what's really interesting, as we were talking to investors going into the print, it was all about this inventory number. Yeah. So understandably, the DTC um, you know, came in a little bit shy, but it means that the wholesale is actually pretty healthy for the spring selling season. So that's actually net positive. And all the metrics through and through kind of beat expectations. As I said, the expectations were high. And the only one that missed is that inventory number. Um, I think the question mark is, how does that bode for gross margin guidance for the next quarter? Is it similar to the sort of down 300? Um, and there's still more pressure on that GM number to come from kind of clearing through this apparel inventory. Remember, they had said it would be done in two quarters. So they do have another quarter of kind of you know, benefit of the doubt, so to speak, um, to get through this inventory. Adrian, is that realistic, the fact that they will be able to work through that backlog and in inventory in such a short amount of time? And you mentioned gross margin there. In terms of the guidance, what are you more specifically looking for over the next quarter or two? So the inventory number, right, that, that's kind of sitting at 9.3 um, you know, billion. The good news about that is that we always look at sales to inventory spread, the growth, right? So sales was up very nicely, right? Significantly more than the 4% it was up in the prior quarter. And inventory is pretty much up the same, 43% versus up 44% mm -hmm. at the end of the prior quarter. So they are making headway in terms of selling it through. The other thing they told us last quarter and we want to hear more about is cutting off the manufacturing at the source. So that's how you get rid of it from sort of the seed, right? The beginning of the whole process, as well as purging it through the channel on the outer end. So if you're working at it from both ways, I'd say probably the, the next quarter, and we heard this from DKS, who had recently reported and told us that they took a really, really aggressive stance on that apparel merchandise in their third quarter and will continue to do so into the fourth. So by the end of the next quarter, we should see some material uh, progress on that inventory, in my opinion. How significant do the markdowns reflect on this report, and do you expect them to, in fact, reflect on the next? Uh, so given that the inventory is still sitting at these levels, there's only three ways to get out of uh, you know the, this heavy inventory relative to sales. Either sales continues to go up, this huge double-digit number, and, and mind you, you know the, the promotions are definitely helping move those sales. You purge it through the margin, right? You promote it through the, the PL, or you start ordering less. And sometimes that does kind of slow down the cadence of sales over time. So, only one of those ways is a super healthy way to do so. Um, but I think at this point, for longer term investors, they're really looking beyond some of these what we want to call transitory things, right? The inventory ups and downs of the supply chain, purging that through the gross margin. And remember, this was isolated to an apparel issue, largely in North America, you know, EMEA B. So that's always, a, that's always a good signal as we go into the next quarter. Adrian, what do you make of the numbers coming out of China and the performance that we have seen from Nike in China? Because the most recent numbers, revenue for the second quarter, uh, coming in a bit light here, 1.79 billion. The street was looking for 1.82 billion. So not a, a miss by a wide margin, but just in terms of what that signals because of the fact that COVID restrictions are being lifted, maybe you're a little bit more optimistic about what we could see from China over the coming quarters. Exactly. So what we want to hear from them is the cadence at the very tail end, uh, the last few weeks, right, um, kind of as things started to loosen up. Um, after the quarter, things really loosened up. So we want to really hear what's happening in December uh, quarter to date. I think that will give people... Uh, a big uh, sigh of relief as we go into calendar 2023. Remember, thematically, investors are looking for China reopening stories. And if we recall kind of where uh, Nike sat before their PR event in March of 2021, they sat at about 21% of sales in China. They now sit at about 15%. So if we are at the low and people are convinced that things are reopening, then Nike looks like it's a pretty attractive China reopening play. Adrian, I know you said you wanted to hear a little bit more about inventories. What else are you going to be focusing on on this call that's going to get underway in just a few minutes? So for sure, the, the inventory piece of it, 
Um, the sustainability of this, you know, up 17, the, the, the street was looking for kind of up low double digit, as was the company's guidance. So really kind of how sustainable and how much of those sales, you know, that huge North American beat was driven by promotions. As we know, when you have a really good brand and you're selling it at, you know, haven't before seen promos since the pandemic started, it's going to get a reaction. Um, so really what we want to hear is how sustainable is that you know up you know low double digit if they're going to guide again for that the inventory china for sure and then the strength in wholesale um we know that last spring a lot of the retail partners were under inventory so it's really nice to see kind of the wholesale piece of it um especially as they now have that footwear piece of it um that is back in stock adrian Yi, great to get your perspective here of barclays thanks so much for joining us this afternoon we look forward to having you back hopefully next quarter